Speaking of fear, millions of gay men and women lived in fear in this country just decades ago. But in 1969, a dramatic incident took place. Pedro Julio Serrano of the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force joins us in New York to talk about gay pride and the Hispanic community. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Talk to us a little about that history. That incident was the start of what we know today as gay pride. That's right. It's, uh, it was in 1969 at the Stonewall Bar here in New York City. Uh, there were some riots because police uh, were harassing and uh, uh, given violence to uh, gay and lesbian and bisexual and transgender people uh, near this bar and they revolted and it caused a riot and they, uh, that uh, became the start of the gay pride movement and that's why we commemorate every hmm. June the, the celebration of gay pride. Uh, and Pedro, talk to me about how the Hispanic community has participated in pride marches or in, in celebrations. Uh, what has changed? In many cities around the country, uh, Latinos have been participating in gay pride uh, across the country, in Puerto Rico also. But especially uh, two years ago in Boston, uh, the Somos Latino or uh, LGBT organization started Latino Gay Pride in Boston, and also this year, uh, Orgullo en Acción started a, hmm. a, a Latino gay pride also in Chicago. So Interesting. So uh, it's uh, o not only uh, commemorating the, the gay pride that we have because uh, and the rights that we uh, ask for, but also to commemorate the Latino culture and how uh, Latinos uh, celebrate gay pride. Well, Pedro Julio Serrano from the National Gay Lesbian Task Force, thank you very much for being on Exclusiva to talk to us about gay pride that is celebrated this month around the world. Thank you very much for having me.